Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about conditional statements and we're going to explore the truth values of yet another compound statement. So conditionals, you may recall, they're of the form if then. So for example, if you eat all your vegetables, then you can have dessert. You might recall that one from your childhood, I know I do. Or if you fall asleep in class, I would be very sad. Lastly, someone who has at least a million dollars is a millionaire. Wait, what? How is that a conditional? That's interesting. Uh, but it's true. We can rewrite this to be in if then form. And what would it look like? Well, we're going to start with this. If you have this, then you are this. So if you have at least a million dollars, then you are a millionaire. So we can take sentences and rewrite them in if then form if they're not already given to us in the conditional form. So here's two more that we can look at. How could we rewrite every integer that is a factor of four is also a factor of eight as a conditional statement? And then also how could we take no sociopath is normal and write that as a conditional statement? I encourage you pause the video, try to write them as conditional statements and then see if you agree with what I put. Okay, so every integer that is a factor of four is also a factor of eight. So the if, the first part, needs to talk about this being the case. So if an integer is a factor of four, then it is a factor of eight. And for the second one, no sociopath is normal. Well, if this is something that you are, then you are not this. So if you are a sociopath, then you are not normal. You could also say, if you are normal, then you are not a sociopath. That would actually be another correct conditional statement from the statement that we were given. So you could also switch these. If you are normal, then you are not a sociopath. But it would be wrong to say if you are not a sociopath, then you are normal, right? Because there's other things that can make you not normal besides being a sociopath. So the way that we phrase this is pretty important. Um, we just want to keep that in mind. But there are two correct answers here. If you are normal, then you are not a sociopath, or if you are a sociopath, then you are not normal. Now let's talk about the parts of a conditional statement. So the first part, the part that comes after the if, if is called the hypothesis or the antecedent. I generally use hypothesis, but they are synonyms and I can use them interchangeably, should I so desire. The statement that follows the then is called the conclusion or the consequent. So normally we say hypothesis and conclusion, they kind of go together and antecedent and consequent go together. And then a, sta a conditional statement is basically a promise that if P occurs, then Q will too. So a conditional statement is true unless a true hypothesis leads to a false conclusion. So let's talk about what that means in an example. Your professor says, if you study, then you will pass. So the hypothesis or the antecedent is here. We would say this is the hypothesis. And the conclusion or the consequent is you will pass. Conclusion. Okay, so that's breaking that down. So this gives us four possibilities. So we're going to determine whether your professor is a liar or not. A little harsh, I know. But there's four things that can happen. You do study and you get an A. So the truth value would be true and true. Here you study, but you don't get an A. So this would be true then false. Here you don't study and you get an A. That would be false then true. Here you don't study and you also don't get an A. So that would be false, then false. So let's talk about this. So first possibility, you do study and you get an A. So is the conditional statement true? Or is your professor telling the truth by saying, if you study, then you'll get an A? Yes, because you studied and you got an A. So this is good, the conditional checks out. So yay, conditional works. What about here? You study and you don't get an A. Is your professor telling the truth or not? So you studied, but you got something other than an A. If you study, then you will pass. So you studied, you did not pass. Your professor, mm -mm, he was telling lies or she. We would say this is false. So this did not work out, right? The professor did not tell the truth. You studied, but the conclusion didn't happen. What about this one? So the professor says, if you study, then you will pass. You didn't study, but you got an A. So this would be a false giving us a true. Well, the professor's promise was if you study and you didn't study, so you didn't uphold your end of the bargain. Because of this, because you didn't study, it doesn't matter what the conclusion is, 
This will always be a true statement because you didn't fulfill that first part. So this would actually be true. Yeah, that's fine that the professor told the truth, right? Because you can't prove otherwise. You didn't study, so you can't say, well, I, if I studied, but, but you didn't. So we can't, you can't say, prove, do anything. And what about this one? You didn't study and you didn't get an A. Is the professor telling the truth or not? Well, again, if you study, but you didn't study. So because of that, that makes the statement, the conditional statement true. The conditional statement would be true because you didn't study. So conditional statements are true when the hypothesis is false, like you didn't study, or the conclusion is true. So we would say for a truth table of a conditional, if it's true leading to true, the conditional statement itself is true. If a true hypothesis leads to a false conclusion, the conditional statement is false. A false conditional, a false hypothesis leads to a true conclusion. Again, if the hypothesis is false, you can prove just about anything because you can't otherwise prove it. If the first part's not true, it doesn't matter. So we would say that's true. And then this is true because the hypothesis is false. So basically you can look at this either way. You can say, well, it's only false if a true hypothesis leads to a false conclusion, or we can say that the conditional statement is true when the hypothesis is false, like we see here, or the conclusion is true, which we see here. The use of conditional connectives does not necessarily imply a cause and effect relationship, so they should be logical, but sometimes they're not, right? So if I buy a house, then the sun will rise in the east. So this is true no matter what, which means this conditional statement will always be true because the sun will always rise in the east. And if it doesn't rise in the east, then we're in big trouble. And well, you're probably not reading this anyway. Um, so if you buy a house, so if you bought a house, then this would be a true leading to a true, in which case the statement is true. If you didn't buy a house, that's a false leading to a true, in which case the statement is true. If I buy a house, if you don't buy a house, you can say whatever you want. I will eat a dog. Don't eat a dog. <laughs> I will win the lottery. Well, good, good, good on you if you do that. Um, but that's conditional statements. They're a little bit, a little bit weird. Um, let's look at some examples. So we're going to determine whether the statements are true or false. First example, we have if one equals zero, then 432 equals five. Is that a true or a false statement? Well, let's look at this. One does not equal zero, so that's a false, implies a false. With conditionals, if we have a false hypothesis, then we have a true conditional. So the conditional statement is true. If one equals zero, well, one doesn't equal zero. So you can say whatever you want after that, and it's going to be true. Okay, our next example, if all dogs are mammals, then three is less than three. Here we have the hypothesis, all dogs are mammals, that is true. Then three is less than three. Three is not less than three, so that would be true implying false. And that is a false conditional statement. So this one would be false. And our last example, if sharks can walk, then sharks live in the water. Is that true or false? If sharks can walk, well, sharks cannot walk. So that is a false statement. Sharks live in the water is a true statement. So this is false implies true, but it doesn't matter. If, as soon as we see that false hypothesis, we know that the conditional statement is true. This has been a little video on the truth values of conditional statements. Thank you for stopping by.